really sorry, but this is the briefest of brief vlogs that there ever was. I've been done over by every train service today, like 50 minutes late on every train. So I'm tired, I'm wet and dishevelled, and I'm hungry, and um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty off. So, quick round up. Today we had a workshop by a lovely guy who was called, I think, Andrea. And he actually teaches at East 15, which is cool because, you know, he's 15. Um, and he came in and he did an amazing workshop. Clowning is intense. Like, there's so much that goes on in it. There's, you know, the physical, but also the psychological that goes behind it. So to try and squeeze in as much as he did in a day and to not lose our interest was really, really good. And he did it really well. All the links for the workshop were brilliant. And I really felt like I've got a lot to take away. Too much, however, to explain to you on a vlog on a late Wednesday evening when I'm tired and wet. So what I'm going to do is put a video just after this of a little snippet of what I was doing in class so that you can get a sort of rough idea of what on earth I mean when I say clowning. Um, and then I will link to some websites who can explain it so much better than I can at this stage in my life. And then when I do my big roundup at the end of the month of all the different workshops and techniques that I've learnt, it will be in there. Essentially, quickly, for those who don't know about clowning, clowning is mask work. That could be big, huge, grotesque masks with big noses and chins. That can be really humanised masks. Um, we just sort of little individual characters behind them. It could be half masks, Comedia de Latte style, and then all the way up to just the clown's nose, which is actually the highest form of mask. Um, it kind of it looks at how we use our body. We use our face for everything. And when you strip that away, you suddenly realise that you really have to express yourself, that you really have to connect that you really have to make an offering, that you really have to be firm with movements, choices, acceptances. And um, it's really given me a lot to think about how I would develop characters going forward. Um, and it's also given me a, an amazing amount of respect for anyone who does mask work because it's tiring and it's hot and sweaty under a mask. So um, with that lovely image, I will leave you and say goodnight, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. I don't want to talk about the work, I want to talk about the way that we work together. And the more conversations we can allow for that, and the more we can give time to invest in it, whether it's we organise a big event where whoever wanted to, but it was definitely all of us, went trampoline, we're like, we're having an away day. There's like 20 of us, and we all went trampoline, it was amazing. And I'm like, I want to invest in those relationships, not make memories with those people, and, not, and that makes the work better. So I 
I feel like you have to invest in how you work, not just what you're working on. 